So let's take a look at this implicit differentiation. First off, let's make it so it's a little easier to see. We'll change it to the keypad in the side screen um, in these uh, keypad options. And let's also make the document view the handheld. So it looks like the, uh, there it is, that's what it looks like on the handheld. Alright, so this is a notes page telling us what we want to take a look at. Um, we'll, we'll add a page with a control and doc with it means add page. What we'll a calculator page. And yes, under menu, we can find in calculus that there's an option called implicit differentiation. There it is, implicit differentiation. Now, sometimes you, people get lost in in the uh, the notation and the syntax. And so a helpful tool is to just press the catalog button. So here's our cute little catalog and if I type I I can quickly get up here to imp diff. <clears throat> we need to have an equation, we need to have a variable and the dependent variable. And then we could do the order. So that's what's going to happen. So if we do implicit differentiation one of those two op two ways, um, the the equation that we wanted to do was x raised to the power of 3 and arrow over and then plus y cubed equals 4 x times y. The reason why we need to do the x times y, why we would get a message of some sort of error implied differentiation, try again, implied multiplication, is because um, the Inspire can understand a lot more than just uh, a one character variable that there can be variables like x y or or your, your the name your name and so forth plus one the x comma y and there it is now if we wanted to evaluate this um, at at a particular point say one two you could up arrow once press enter it copied and pasted right on down. Yes, Control C and Control V works for copy paste, um, but but that's another nice option. If we press Control and equals, arrowing back, there's a such that, and we actually don't have to define this expression, and we could evaluate it such that x equals one, and y equals two. So that's fun. Um, another nice way of defining a um, of defining a function. Um, how about let's use menu, and the first option is da -da define. So we could define it like that. We could define f of x to be equal to up arrow up arrow, enter. Ha ha! There it is. Hmm. Yeah, that's not quite what I meant to say. How about I meant to say define x, y, there you go. That's better. And then we can say what is f of 1, 2? Ta-da, 5 eighths. Isn't that lovely? Yep, just like that. We got the answer we got up there. Um, here's one more little tip for you while we're at it. What if we did our shift minus for take the derivative of x tab and we wanted to do our expression, our equation again of x cubed plus y. Now here's the here's the story. It needs to be y of x. It needs to know that this is a uh, that y is a function of x. So it doesn't just treat it as a constant. For x times y of x plus one. And and that's it. Ready to press enter. And so that's the first step to to this. Notice that um, we have 3x squared. And notice that the derivative of this is 3y squared times the derivative of what's inside. This is our goal. This is what we're trying to solve for. We're trying to solve for the, the derivative of y with respect to x. And over here, we will we'll have the derivative of that will be a um, product rule. The Let's see here. We did the first times the derivative of the second, plus the second times the derivative of the first, and the derivative of that is 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 a constant. Or sorry, is zero. <laughs> the derivative of constant is zero. All right. So thanks. Hope you that was helpful. And let's stop recording.